We also want to take one quick look at one of the reaction of the arene diazonium salts, and that's azo coupling here. Uh, and in this case, you're going to react your arene diazonium salt with another benzene. And the idea is you, you hopefully want to use an activated benzene. So you want it to have an electron donating group attached. Uh, and it's going to lead to para substitution. Uh, and we think it goes through an EAS reaction. So and in this case, we're going to get electrophilic aromatic substitution attaching to the nitrogen there, kicking these electrons over to the other nitrogen, leading to this lovely structure. Obviously, we need to deprotonate and finish off the EAS reaction. I'm not showing the whole mechanism, but leading to this lovely structure. And this is uh, what we call an azo dye. It's a highly conjugated system. And if you recall, we studied uh, the more conjugated the system, the longer the lambda max. Uh, and in this case, they usually are long enough to show up in the visible spectrum, making this a good azo dye. But what's also nice is you can arrange these. Like I might put some different substituents on my original aniline that I start with to make my arene diazonium salt to make it either more or less conjugated and change the lambda max a little bit and change the color of the dye. Uh, so these azo dyes are kind of nice, you know, for just making dyes of a, a variety of different colors just by altering some substituents. So uh, real convenient use of organic chemistry in the real world.